Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Guide Forever. And just before we get into the video, there's gonna be a skip button right uh, corner. So if you want to skip the the introduction, uh, be my guest and do that. But today, of course, we'll be doing blending two faces together tutorial. Uh, it's a sort of video that I haven't done before, and the, you can see this quite commonly when you know watching a PewDiePie or any other channel that is based on entertainment. You know, with a uh, quick flash blend images of famous people like Trump, uh, Miley Cyrus, and stuff like that. It's, Miley Cyrus, it, it was like very common in, uh, back in 2013, 2014, and Trump, for example, in 2015 uh, slash 16. And so here are a few examples you'll see on the screen. And without further ado, let's get straight into the video. My goal will be to blend Trump's and Miley's face together. It's very important to know whose face you will bl be applying to. In my case, I will be applying Miley's face to Trump's face. In order to begin, you need to open your image folder and choose two faces that you want to blend together. Now make sure that the picture which will have other face blended on is doubled and one of them, preferably the last one, has to be locked so you can't apply any changes to it just yet. Now once you open two pictures it's time to crop out one's face, in my case this is Miley's face. Now in order to select area you want to crop out, go and click on lasso tool which is located just below quick selection tool. Now drag your mouse around her face until it's circled and connect the starting point. Now with this being done, click Ctrl C to copy selected material and Ctrl V to paste it on Trump's face. Now at this point it's best to make your picture as big as it can be so you can pay attention to details. Now just a quick reminder, the final product will look more authentic if you go into details. I myself didn't go into details just because I'm just trying to make an example for the video and, and I was also in a rush so the final product might not be as good as some uh, others. To cover Trump's with Miley's face, set opacity of Miley's face layer to about 50%. You do this because it's easier to match their eyes, eyebrows and nose together. Press Ctrl V to size the shape in order to match their eyes, nose, etc. As mentioned before, if you want to make it good, pay more attention to details. After you complete the transformation, click on Quick Selection tool and then click Apply. Don't forget to set opacity back to 100%. Now this part is in general the hardest, so closely pay attention to what I've got to say. Firstly, right click on Small Image in the layer and click on Select Pixels. Now once this is done, go into Select tab and choose Inverse. Then go into select again and click modify, then click expand, then insert number 6. This is basically number of pixels that will serve as gradient into Miley's face. And then hit OK. Next thing to do is to go back to select tab and choose inverse again to make it non-inverse. After this, unsee all layers but unlocked Trump's layer and hit the lead button. Now we got rid of his face. God bless America. Then make Miley's face visible again by clicking on eye icon next to the layer. Now all you have to do is right click Miley's layer and click select pixels and then hold control and click on Trump's layer basically the one without a face and go to edit tab select auto blend layers and in the next window hit ok and here we go 
the masterpiece has arrived but uh, seriously guys it's not perfect but it's just example on how to how to basically blend two faces together and if you found this video anyway useful i would highly appreciate a like and share and if you could comment on how should i improve my videos i would i would appreciate this the fuck out of you and yes that's basically it and i'll see you guys in the next video and from now on i'll be mainly making photoshop tutorials because many people requested them and yes see ya